I like to think that UVM offers kind of the best of both worlds for our fellowship trainees. Um, it is a, a large hospital with all the possible uh, potential facilities and expertise that you would need at a, and you would expect at, at an academic medical center, yet it still has that community hospital feel. Our uh, fellowship at the moment is one fellow each year. Uh, we train excellent clinical endocrinologists but we also emphasize the need for scholarly activity during those two years, especially in the second year when there's a little less clinical responsibility. Our fellows are on six months for the first year and about four months for the second year. Amongst the faculty that we view our fellows as colleagues, we're here to teach them and to um, make them uh, outstanding clinical endocrinologists. And that's really what we strive for. And, and I think our fellows um, reflect that um, dedication to teaching and, and energy that we have here in our group. Our culture is over here to at least promote us to become as independent yet not feel lost because there is supervision available all the time. And if someone's not available, you can call and pick up the phone and call any attending and everyone will be happy to help you out. So that's, it's, it's a very close, close group over here, I would say. The accessibility of our faculty is overwhelmingly supportive of our fellowship program. We have just one fellow a year, so they really receive a lot of attention and everyone here is very committed to making sure that they're flourishing and happy and pursuing research activities that they enjoy. We all share the same floor where our offices are uh, and the doors are always open and, and we also share the mentoring of the fellows so the fellows have exposure to all of the faculty because we are the only academic medical center in Vermont, and because of our size and our catchment area, we have a wide breadth of pathology here um, in the endocrine division. Our fellows see um, really uh, not only the bread and butter cases of endocrinology, which are important to see, but also some very rare uh, conditions as well. We manage a lot of thyroid cancer here because we are one of the largest academic medical centers for really hundreds of miles in every division. I want to make sure that they do get a broad education and that they do get exposure to some of these rarer cases, that they're able to properly use the ultrasound machine, know how to use it to look at multinodular goiter or suspicious thyroid nodules, just to get an idea of blood flow across the gland if we think someone's hyper or hypothyroid. and. Um, be able to successfully do fine needle aspirates. So we round with the residents, we round with students all the time, and we are, uh, we are encouraged to teach them on the spot and also during the rounds, which I love. Like, I love teaching, and that is a good part over here, that along with you being the learners from attendings, you're also a teacher to the residents and the students. The diversity of, of the pathology that you see here is really important. It's something that we actively work on with our fellows uh, and strive to make sure that these interesting and more rare cases are actually pushed towards the fellows clinic. And more importantly, you have longitudinal care of these folks. So not only are you having longitudinal care of diabetes and hypothyroidism and some of the more common thyroid things, but you're also gonna longitudinally follow the rare cases. You're gonna, you're gonna meet the person with the pheochromocytoma, make the diagnosis, you're gonna follow them through surgery, and you're gonna see them in follow-up during your two years. All of the clinics here that our fellows do are continuity clinics. So you become the patient's endocrinologist, obviously with our help and guidance uh, if needed. There are a lot of research opportunities here. We do get a fair amount of interesting cases, and I have been able to build my resume um, with case write-ups and, and other research opportunities. That definitely did um, exceed my expectations. Throughout the Endocrine Fellowship, all of the attendings are dedicated to make sure that the fellows are engaged in research, and there's lots of different opportunities for that. We have a lot of different conferences where fellows will present cases, and we also have um, journal clubs and other didactics from all around the hospital, different specialties. So there's really a lot of interaction with the fellows, not just with our faculty, but with faculty from all different departments and divisions. The bread and butter of endocrinology is always going to be diabetes, and we do have a superb diabetes team but we also want to make sure that you have grounding in all the subjects of endocrine. And several of us 
have a lot of experience with pituitary and thyroid and adrenal problems. So you should be able to get not only the bread and butter of endocrine here, but also be able to look at the specialties and see what interests you the best. If you're looking for a research opportunity, research opportunities, if you're looking for um, a variety in patient cases, if you're looking for autonomy, friendly attendings, a, com a sense of community, this is definitely the place. Uh, and I think that ha being a smaller program, that's really a, a plus more than it is the minus for the program because you really do, you're right on the front lines of all of endocrine. Um, and you just have, you get a lot of experience coming to this program. So I think it kind of checks off all of the boxes. I, I can't wait to meet you and I can't wait for you to come to see what UVM has to offer and hopefully um, find out that this place is a great opportunity for you or your family um, to train and to live and to provide the best possible training and, and environment um, to pursue your goals moving forward. That's, that's our, our hope for you.